So in this video, we'll see how to create inputs in our design system. First of all, type a text for the title. And then select a text style from our design system. Uh, let's select a body to medium for this one. Then duplicate this and this will be our input text in the input field. Let's select this input text from our design system for this. Then in the input field, we will have two icons from our assets panel. Let's add a two icon, one on the left side and another one on the right side of the input text. Then change the icon sizes to the 16 pixels. Select these both icons and the input text and wrap it in auto layout. Change the gap between them as per your preference. Then increase the width of the input field. For now, I'm giving it 200. And select this input text and change this width to field container. Then select this auto load frame. Give a padding on sides and the top and the bottom. And give a corner radius here. Then change the fill color from our design system. Let's give a off white and for the stroke, let's give a neutral color. Then duplicate this title for our supporting text or a helping text. This will be our helping message. Then select all these three elements and again add it in the auto layout and adjust the gap between them. This will be our default uh, input component. Now let's change the colors. This will be our text primary. And for the input text and the icons, select text tertiary. And for the helping message, also select text tertiary here. So this will be our default uh, basic input element. There are other states as the focus state and then we have this typing, warning state, error state and success state and finally a disabled state. To create this all the state in the default input, just duplicate this default input element and for the focus state, just change this stroke value to our primary color. This will be a focus state. And for the typing, can change this to this vertical line and change the color to a white color. So this will be our typing state. For the warning state, duplicate our default element. And for the warning state, in our design system, we have colors for warning. So for the fill, give a warning 50. And for the stroke, uh, give a warning 300 here. And for the helping message, give a darker variation of the warning. Again, repeat this process for the error state and the success state. So for the error state, let's give a fill value of the error 50 and stroke of the error 300. And for the helping message, give a darker variation of the error message. Now for the success state, repeat the process and change this color. So this will be a success 50 for the fill and for the stroke give a success 300. And for the helping message, give a darker variation of the success. And finally for the disabled state, duplicate our default element here. And for the input text and the icons, and from our design system, change these colors to a slightly lighter neutral color. Again, repeat for the helping message as well. So this will be our disabled state. Now to create a text area, just duplicate our default element. And for the text area, remove the icons. And for the input element, just double the height here. Let's give it as 64 pixels 
and give a top alignment here. So this will be our message input field and for the helping message give it a right alignment. This can be our characters count. Okay, so this will be our basic text area input element states. Now repeat the process for all the states for this text area. Once done, select all these elements and from the right panel, click on this drop down and select this create component set option. This will create this component set frame of all these elements. Now select this frame and in the layers panel, rename this frame to inputs. Now drag one instance from this input frame and in the right panel you will see these properties for the instances. So click on this input component set frame and in the right panel rename this property to type. Again add a variant and just name it as state. So select all the top components and in the type as a default for the default inputs and Select all the bottom elements and this will be our text area. So now select the first elements. This will be our default components for the inputs. The second ones are focus. So in the state, set it as a focus state. The third one is typing. So set it as a typing state and repeat for the remaining components as warning, error state, success state. And finally, the disabled state. Now you can directly change the properties in the right panel for the instance. Now select one title of any element and click on this icon to select all the matching layers here for our component. So all the titles are selected. Click here to create a text property for our titles in the component. So this will be our title text and for the value keeping it as a title. So in the instance we can directly change the titles from this right panel. So again select this titles options and in the appearance click on this variable option to create a boolean property for the titles. So name it as a title visibility click on the create property here. So you will get this visibility option for this input. Then click on this input text, select all the matching layers and in the right panel, add a text property for the input text as well. Select our left icons and add a boolean property by clicking on this option in the appearance. Let's name it as a icon left. Then select our right icons by pressing the tab twice and again create another property. Let's name it as icon right and click on the create property. So now in the instance, we'll get this visibility option for the icons. And you can directly change the input text right from this text property. Next for the helping message, select all the matching layers, then add a text property for the helping message. And also add a boolean property for the visibility of this helping message. Now in the instance, you can easily show or hide this helping message for any instance. You can also select this frame and reorder these properties as per your preference.